be spoken to me about. Because he said, my sheep know my voice and no other will they follow. So I don't need, yes, 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 there's safety in a multitude of counseling, but every let every word be established, blah, blah, blah. And I understand all that and that's the word. But let me tell you something, I don't need 500 prophetic prophecies to confirm something that God spoke to me. I don't need to be traveling here and going over there for another bubble. Hallelujah. If I get excited, I don't apologize because I'm Italian. How many Italians do we have in the house? Look at that. See, I knew I wasn't alone. Hallelujah. See, the question is tonight, saints, listen, who's framing your thinking? Who's framing your thinking? Who are you listening to? Why? Because your words will determine the way you think. This is why God doesn't like gossip. He doesn't like criticizing, complaining, murmuring. He doesn't like all those. Who's framing you? So how you think is going to determine how you feel. See, everything, if you want to get out of debt, you want to get out of, you want to get out of debt, you want to get healed in your body, you want to get everything, everything starts up here. Everything starts up here as a man thinketh. So how you think is going to determine how you feel. And if you don't like the way you feel, Then just change the way you think. Simple. Do you still love me? Because how you feel, listen, how you feel will determine the decisions you make. And if you have hurt feelings, you're going to make some wrong decisions because hurt people make bad decisions. You cannot be emotionally ruled. Your decisions are going to determine your actions. And your actions determine your habits. Your habits determine your character. Your character is going to affect your destiny. And how many know you cannot go any higher than that? Than your destiny. This is why manipulation is not going to last. You can't try to manipulate somebody. It won't work. See? You can't try to manipulate somebody out of guilt or shame. It's just not going to happen. It won't last. Actually, manipulation, the Bible says, is a form of witchcraft. Amen. So if I change my, you know, my emotions, the way I feel, I'm going to align myself up with what, the way God sees. Then you got your hearing gate. You got what you hear. Everything comes in your, into your head. So you got to watch that which you listen to. Amen. See? Because whatever is hidden is going to manifest. They sow or sows the seed. Eventually something's going to come up. And it might be in an incubated period, but it will eventually be revealed. Whatever. Whatever is hidden, see. So, you know, listen, I want to make sure that I'm not growing or sowing any crabgrass in my garden. Because all that's going to do is choke out, see. So you got to watch what you hear. You got to watch what you say. See? Because I don't want my soil to become corrupt. So I got to watch what I say. See? So don't let the devil start spreading things around that which the seed that we sow. Amen. Now, I just want to finish with this here because this is so cool when God began to show me this. You know, in Psalms 145, verse 5. Let's turn there just for a minute. I promise I'll close. You know what that means? Absolutely nothing. (laughs) So I promise you I'm going to close. I still want to come back next Wednesday. God's going to satisfy our mouth. Come on, he's satisfying our mouth with good things. Good things. I want the good things of God. But notice what he says here in verse 5. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous works. I will speak of thy glorious honor of thy majesty and I will speak of thy wondrous works. In the Hebrew, the word works means 
things. Or it also means words. It comes from a Hebrew word which is devar, D-A-V-A-R. And this word devar literally is translated words or things. Because sometimes we're talking about words when we're meaning things. Or we're talking about things when we're actually meaning things. Words. Do you remember when Eli was watching over Samuel, back in Samuel, and Eli goes to Samuel and he says, Samuel, what is the thing that God is speaking to you about? You remember that? He says, what's the thing? Or he was really saying, what was the word that God was revealing to you, Samuel. See? So you could be saying something as a word, but literally meaning a thing, or a thing meaning a word. God calls words things. And it appears that when they're saying words, they're saying things, and when they're saying things, they're saying words, because this word, devar, is a word thing. Are you with me? We say it all the time. I can't believe I just said those things. Come on, did you ever say that? What you really are saying, I can't believe I just said those words. So we're on the same page? I can't believe I just said those things, say, and faith, Now faith is the substance of those things that are hoped for and the evidence of those things which are not seen. So you see, when you say words, you just released a thing. And you can't see the thing that you just said, but you can hear the thing that you said because the things are heard before they are seen. When God said, let there be, uh uh-huh, when he said, let there be, What? Light. Uh Uh-huh. He spoke a word, but a thing took place. And now why? Oh, before God spoke a word, the Bible says the earth was without what? Void. Chaos, chaotic. Things were out of order. It was dark. It was bleak. It was chaotic. And then all of a sudden, God said what? Let. Say let. Let. Say it again. Say it again. Now say it like you mean it. The word let literally means that something that is not in order must come to order. In other words, if you got somebody out there and you're in your house and someone's whooping on your son, what are you going to do? Are you going to run out there and go, go ahead and keep whooping him? Or are you going to go out there and go, let him go! Because something's not happening. And the moment God said, let Everything that was dark and everything that was chaotic and everything that was bleak and out of order came to order and light was. Can you imagine if we just started speaking to the principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and start speaking to the wind instead of focusing on your waves? (laughs) 